All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com or follow me on Twitter at Anthony Smoke. Today, we're back in Tableau. And I want to share with you a tip that I picked up from uh, Tableau Zen Master uh, Ryan Sleeper. I saw this on uh, one of his uh, presentations at a Tableau uh, conference, and I thought it would be handy uh, to share uh, with everyone. So got to give credit where credit is due there. So you've seen this dashboard before if you follow uh, my videos. Um, if I pick, you know, if I were to select some, some items here on my dashboard, I can just filter some things. So I've got a lot of filters on here. And so... Uh, I've showed you before in another video, check that video out, how to reset all filters, right? So if I do that, I get my 935K back. I know I'm in an unaltered state. But sometimes uh, Tableau has this feature where it looks like something's filtered when it's not. See how this is grayed out? So uh, it'd be nice to add something here that says filters are in use. So how do we do that, right? So if I were to go, uh, let's create a new worksheet called filters in use. And the first thing that you have to do is create a calculated field. And let's call it, for lack of a better name, filters in use, right? So what is the calculation, right? So we're going to say if the sum of number of records, right, on the visualization is not equal to, we're going to use a fixed uh, level of detail, sum uh, number of records, right? Let's close that close the brace. What we're saying here is if the sum of number of records on the visualization is not equal to the total sum of records uh, in the entire data set, then we know a filter is in use. But before we get to that, as you can see, we're trying to compare an aggregate to a non-aggregate. So uh, how do we get around that? Tableau interprets this fixed level of detail sum number of records uh, as a non-aggregate. So we can get around that. We can use this ATTR function. And there are better places on the internet uh, to research what ATTR is. But I'll just say very quickly that it returns a value if it's unique. Otherwise, it returns asterisk. And so we know that our fixed LOD is going to return a unique record, a unique uh, sum. So we can apply this function to kind of hack our way around to make a uh, comparison. So. Um, we're going to say, um, again, if the number of records on our viz is not equal to the, uh, the total number of records in our uh, data set, then we'll say filter, filters in use, right? Otherwise, else, put a blank and end, right? And calculation is valid. Perfect. So we're going to say OK here. Right, so as you can notice, well, let's first drag this up here. Let's drag this up here to text. And I have nothing here. This is just the header. I can hide the, the title. I have nothing here yet. That's because we haven't tied uh, our worksheet to our filters, right? So if we go to, you want to go to where all your filters are, uh, your, your specific worksheet where your filters are, and you want to apply to worksheets, selected worksheets, you're going to apply it to the filters and use worksheet that we just created. So I have a lot of filters on this dashboard. And so that means I'm going to have to apply this in a number of places. But you can see how this can be handy if you have a lot of uh, filters, just giving the user that, uh, that heads up that a filter uh, is in play. So selected worksheets, filters in use, right? It's the invoice date, um, vendor name filters in use, and include $0 invoices. Yes, let's apply it there as well. So that should be my last one. So on your dashboard, uh, again, on your worksheet, you're going to go to where you have your filters in play and apply, um, apply it to that worksheet, filters in use. So now if we go back to our uh, dashboard, and let's take our filters in use, we're going to drag it up here to the corner, you know, wherever your uh, your mileage may vary on where you're going to drag it to. I'm going to hide the title. And as you can see, we have nothing yet. But if I were to select, uh, let's select a vendor name. That's fine. Acme Contractors. Again, this is all mock data. Haha, I start to get something. So now I can go in here. Now I can start formatting, right, because something shows up. Let's expand this out a little bit. Um, I can go into text. Control A, let's make this bold, let's make this 12, 
and I want the font to be red, right? Say OK. Great, that shows up. Now I want to format. Um, go to the fill here, the shading, and I want it to be black. Great. There we go. Filters in use. I go back to my dashboard. You can see that shows up because we actually do have a filter in use. I'm just going to tighten it up over here a little bit. Just a little bit of uh, formatting. And let's drag that out. Right. Great. So now if I reset my filters, it should go away. And it does. Great. Um, again, let's just test it. Let's pick uh, less than 30 days uh, open here. Uh, 100K should show up. And let's just pick uh, you know, something here, 466 bucks. So I have filters in play. You'll see the filters in use there. Now if I hit reset all filters, it goes away and I'm back to square one. So I uh, hope you like this tip. Again, have to give credit where credit is due. Uh, Ryan Sleeper, uh, Tableau Zen Master, check out his blogs. Um, again, this has been Anthony Smoke. Hope you enjoyed this tip. Get out there and do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching, everyone.